Okay, so hey everybody. Now we're at the park. I don't know the name of it because it's not very popular, not famous. There is no people around here, but it's also, you know, prepared for visiting a tourist in a winter period, summer period, or even spring period, autumn, doesn't matter. The signs here, you can take a look. It has like, you know, all, both of them, Russian and English. So, and we're heading for observation point. So let's go. And now we're almost at Vorobyovo Gore sighting point, but here you can see a cabin road and if you just don't want to walk back there by your feet, you can take a cabin. But I would like to walk, so I'll keep it for you, you know, for you being surprised of how cool it is to be in a cabin ride, yeah, cabins. Well, it's, it's winter time, as you can see there is snow in Russia, so you can play snowballs, snowball wars, if you have friends, because I, I don't have anybody to play with. And where is Luzhniki? The greatest arena in Moscow, maybe in Russia. There was a last World Final, World Cup Final took place in there. So, uh, and you know, if you'll come in the winter period, take some clothes stuff like gloves and hat cap, because a little bit cold, but not too, you know, not too, not too cold for me, for everybody, anybody. Ah, take a look at the view. I'll drink some hot stuff. And this is MGU, the most famous university in Russia. A great minds been studying in there and graduated. Some of them did not graduate and become a video blogger. But this is the MGU, the, the, the one and only in Russia. So take a closer look like when you'll be here by yourself. Because I'm too lazy to go there. It's very far because it's big, the big building, very big. Also hiding in the, in the clouds, high in the sky. So yeah, go there by yourself. Okay, so there is no English word, so you won't be able to understand anything, but I'll tell you how to read this. So this is the destination. You just have to check it on the map. And also there is time intervals in which the buses will arrive. So like, uh, and this time till this time, there's 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 11 minutes. And on a day off, it's the same basically. So every 10 minutes, there'll be a bus here, okay? And it's route number T7, so just check the Yandex transport application and you'll find from where to where the bus is heading. And the secondary, we decided to take a cab because it's too long for waiting. And we decided to take this wonderful woman with us. Tokivska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tokivska. So it says one minute Kia Rio, zero, one, two. So let's find it. You're a tourist and you came here you're like, oh my god, thing is so big, it's so huge, everybody's walking around me, what to do, what to do, where to go. Don't be scared. This is a bus stop. This is a metro station. Pick one of these and let's go. So we just before we find our bus, we've seen this beautiful metro station and decided to take a metro. It's like faster and it's warm in here, so let's go. Come on, keep up. This station is not ancient at all, it just looks like an old but And here there is like a normal signs for everybody to be able to understand where are you right now. What's located nearby, everything is signed, everything is you know very clear and understandable here. Same with here, all the buses, all the directions, so you can just easily take a fast check in internet and taxi, post office, pharmacy, parking, ATM machines, everything is like put on the maps. 
And uh, don't forget to use signs on the floor, sometimes also on the floor, like this. I have express to Vnukovo on the right. Kievsky rail terminal, forward, straight. So it's that easy as you can see. But we need to go the opposite direction, so let's go. Now here in Russia there is like a, a, a rules which is say no to filming in the metros and like malls and big places with a lot of people because not everybody like when they camera around them so it's in like a privacy respect that so we not do no do the we did not do the that don't do any shootings in the metro but we'll show you around so but the main thing is I already told you that there is a signs over where just look for them and you'll be able to find your way to your you know target You can get these cards and you can use it for a ride in metro, in the buses, whatever. And also, as I was saying, just thinking, I have a few things to show to you. You can get like this Troika for Jalusta and it will be a little bit cheaper, but you know, if you don't, just for a long period of time then. Revolution Station. It's very popular because there is a lot of sculptures, like statues all around here, and a lot of them like can bring luck if you like, uh, you know, the part of it. So sometimes let's find it. Oh, you can see the baby's feet. They were like, you need to do the same thing my Aladdin do with the jeans lamp, you know. So, but and then you can ask for some wish. So when you like. We'll take a look at this. It more like contacts a zoo, you know, a zoo where you can touch animals, even though they're not real. But yeah. Oh, such a cute dog. That's the only dogs in Moscow. Let's go. And there's a good thing because in the parks there is no dogs allowed, so nobody will bite you. And this one is also sculptures. No danger. Let's go. I'll tell you an interesting story about this building, this one over here. It was like made in, in the Soviet Union period and there was a guy, the architect or the designer, who like received a command from Mr. Stalin itself. Like, nah, I want a beautiful building nah, nah, with a pipe. So, and the guy made a like, you know, a, a kind of workout, tryouts. So he put it in one big pile of paper, in one list. And it was separated with the line and the, the one side of the paper was like with, with one style and the second with the other. So, and he, like, of course, Mr. Stalin had to choose one of those. But he was so busy at the day when the guy came up with a, with a pro project. Stalin just take a look, as I've been told so, you know, I've been told so. And Stalin said that, yeah, well, I like this and put his signs on it. And automatically, because everything was very rough in Soviet Union, uh, the, like the, the main guy from this part of the country said, "Like now you build it," and they made the building looks like on the paper it's completely different from one side of the building and the other. Take a look upstairs, here and there, and you can see the difference because Stalin said so. Yes. yes. So this is a red square, it's very beautiful at daytime and at nighttime especially because there is a lot of lights turns on and it's glowing and shiny. There's a Nikolska street on the, on the right side from me and you can see a Kuranty, the biggest watch in Russia and uh, they hidden a clock every day and a new special, especially a new year. The word in, on this building is Lenin, it means that it belongs to Lenin, it's Muslim where the leader of Soviet Union period of time in Russia is still laying. I think it's a doll, but you know, nobody is allowed to go inside, I think, for a few years now. Maybe he's tired of guests, I don't know. It's like his house, his rules. Let's respect that, right? So we stepped in a uh, goom. 
this big and famous shop I've been telling you about on the street. So in fact, we came here just to have a little warm up, you know, because sometimes it's need to because I need to talk to impress my emotions when I'm cold. I'm ah, starting to cry like and behave myself badly. And also, we want to show you a secret place here. Well, it's, it's not secret. It's, a lot of people knows about it, but you don't. And there is a nice canteen, like a uh, not very expensive cafeteria here in Gum, and it's in the Red Square. So in the restaurants downstairs, you pay like 10 times higher price than in this place where I'm going to show you. This is the place, it's called Stalova 57, number 57. Stalova is a kind of cafeteria in, like in Soviet Russia. I don't know how to explain it, honestly, so just Stalova. We stand in a line and there is like different dishes already like prepared in, uh, in the shelves. And just pick one, pick another, put it in a big plate and then in the end just pay for it, take a seat and eat it. So it's, in, in fact it's very fast, it's very fast, sometimes it's tasty and very popular as you can see. Let's try it out. And this is the compote I've been told you about. And what is the most Russian dishes like presented here? Well, like this one is not holodets. Uh, it's the most traditional thing. So holodets. Uh, Thank you. experiment with English language is obviously that doesn't work anymore because here in the center everybody is able to speak English everything is always like in Russian and in English so yeah it's no problem at all and so we got the compote very Russian stuff uh, like puree soup like cream soup uh, holodets it's a very like also Russian thing take a look at this but you have to take it with the master and uh, our friend uh, here is explaining everything to us and because it's cold it's like a little bit of cognac and the whole bill is 650 rubles, so 10 bucks. 10 bucks for everything, but there is also one more soup and one more compote for my friend who's filming all this. So yeah, have a nice meal and cheers. Mm. The mustard is so great. Oh. Mm. Compote is amazing. Saves up some master. Mm. Hey, stop filming. Let's eat. My friend told me that there is a beautiful shop. It's called Yeliseyski, and I've been there before. So we'll like you know step in for you to understand that it's a, just a regular shop where people buy groceries. It's not a museum, no nothing. It's just a shop, and it's so good looking. It's so antique. So this is a real shop, historical. It's been built, built like uh, a, a long time ago. And you can just, you know, buy some groceries here and just enjoying the views because everything is very beautiful. And maybe, maybe we need to get some uh, tea from a friend. So, yeah. Thank you for this wonderful walkout as you know I've been like enjoying being your guide. So anything you wanted to ask me, just do it in the commentary. Subscribe our channel, press the like the heart button, this is the like one, like oh, oh. so everybody being you know happy. And yeah, see you next time because I've decided to go down to sleep. And there is a metro, so 10 minutes and I'm at home. Cheers! <laughs>